Hey guys, it is Ryan with Lawn Crack, and I have an exciting video for you today. It may not look like an exciting video because it is an Excel spreadsheet, but if you are into making money in your lawn care business, um, it's pretty exciting. And it's a very useful tool. You can get this for free at lawncrack.com. All we want is your name and email, and we will shoot this right over to you. And that's it you can start playing around with these numbers and seeing uh what would happen um you know what where i think this tool is valuable is you could say what if we added another crew what if we added um 10 more customers per crew what if we raised our price by x number of dollars blah 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 and you can see what's going to happen is you know i have i have the section up here for revenue um, so that's company the money your company's bringing in and this is set up for a, a mowing and spraying um, I don't have it set up for landscape jobs and snow removal and stuff like that so if you need that um, you can add to this or um, you know what I mean you have to figure that out but uh, I have a section for wages and then I have all of the expenses are going to go in here so you have your overhead expenses then you come down to your var variable expenses and then you're going to have uh, your revenue and blah 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 stuff like that profit margin um, all these text boxes are going to tell you what exactly to put in each area um, if we go all the way back up to the top this how to use the spreadsheet tells you how to use a spreadsheet uh, yellow cells you're gonna enter those purple cells will be populated for you orange cells have a formula if you want to edit the formula to more accurately represent your company's numbers feel free to do so and uh, some of these cells would have a pound these cells right here had a pound sign div slash O but since I've already populated the sheet they don't say that anymore but when you get the blank sheet it will don't freak out um, just follow everything write down the spreadsheet and when you get to the bottom you'll see your your numbers and I think it's just it's much easier than looking at a profit and loss or a balance sheet or anything like that and everyone that I've shown this to they really like it I think you'll like it too so let's get into it um, so customers this is customers that can be handled per crew that's a uh, crucial right there so I have a hundred per crew I think that's very reasonable um, especially if you're doing residential lawns uh, two man I'm assuming a two man crew right here can cut a hundred lawns a week you know in the spring that might be a little hectic over the summer that's uh, you know four days a week they can cut a hundred hundred lawns average cut price 50 bucks very realistic um, our minimums 45 we have some that go up to around 500 to cut it really averages out to about 50 we cut the lawns on average 30 times a season so the customer value on average is going to be fifteen hundred dollars if you have a hundred per crew that's a hundred fifty thousand dollars per crew I'm, I'm basing these numbers somewhat off my company so two mow crews so we're going to produce three hundred thousand dollars in revenue from mowing on the spray side i just have one spray crew if you jump down here he can do more spray more lawns because he only does them six times it's usually a little quicker than a mowing service um, our price is about the same so 300 customers for our one spray crew $50 average price six times a year $300 is the value of a customer per year since we have 300 of them that's $90,000 I just have one of these crews $90,000 in revenue total mow and spray revenue this this year we're looking at 390,000 um, I've done a lot more than that in the past we've averaged over 500,000 in revenue the past three seasons but um, I have really condensed my business and made it a lot more efficient and we're actually more profitable doing lower revenue lower total revenue we're more profitable I'm not working very much at all in my lawn care business I'm moving on to like making these videos for lawn crack um, I got a lot of a lot of things going on I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur and I just really like lawn care and landscapers and entrepreneurs in general but let's just focus on the spreadsheet right now so I pay my guys on a percentage based pay system I highly encourage you to too um, 
don't take these numbers and just be like, that's what I'm gonna use too, because I I know my guys, my employees are friends and family of of me. So I I told them, you guys know what it is, you know what the job is, you like the job, great. Um, so I'm gonna pay on this percentage-based pay system. That assumes you guys are gonna mow the lawns properly, spray the lawns properly. If there's any issues, you need to go back on your own time. Obviously, you can use my <clears throat> trucks and equipment and gas and stuff, but you will not be getting paid if you need to go back to fix a job, um, sharpening the blades, changing the oil. Everything is worked into their their uh, hourly, their percentage pay here. So this is what they get. Um, they're working, I mean, right now over the summer, they're working about 35 hours a week um, in the spring, I mean, a couple times they got up to 50, but they've been the for for the most of the season. They're you know between 40 and 45 hours a week, but we're in the middle of the summer, so they're working about 35, and they're looking at making you know 32 thousand dollars. And you got to remember, this is 39 months out of the year. This is an important one not to miss right here. How long is your working season? Ours is 39 weeks. Um, the rest, it's too cold, the grass isn't growing, stuff like that. So I have my Mo Crew 1, their percentage pays in there. Mo Crew 2, their percentage pays in there. They're the same. My spray guy, he gets a little higher percentage because he's the only guy on the crew, but then we also have the cost of the chemicals and all that kind of stuff. We actually run a hybrid um, organic program, so our fertilization aspect of our program is organic, but we do supplement with synthetic herbicides because there's nothing on the organic side that, that controls weeds. So there's his uh, percentage pay. I'm the office guy. Um, like I said, I spend about five hours a week on my business. Um, I do the invoicing, scheduling, uh, interpayment, stuff like that. I use Service Autopilot, highly recommend it. Um, it seriously has my business on autopilot. Um, I have been doing this. This is my eighth or ninth year. I started in 2009, so I, I really do know what I'm doing. And um, I've took it, took it upon myself to self-educate myself and become um, as knowledgeable as I can in running a business of any sort, marketing, everything. Like I'm not just a lawn care guy. I, uh, I'm a business person. So, it, like I said, we are basing these off my numbers. So I'm looking at paying out $200,000 in wages, as you can see, grand total wages. Okay, so like I said, these are pretty fairly accurately based off my company's numbers. So my trucks are all paid off, so I, I don't have a truck payment. I have, uh, I have three E450, uh, they used to be U-Haul trucks. I you know, had them wrapped with my logos, I had gates fabricated, I really highly rec recommend you to uh, do that because I don't have a rent expense. I used to rent a shop, but actually, see, I have rent expense in here because it's just paying my mortgage, so I'm just including that. But we used to actually have a run out of my house and we rented a warehouse space and then it was twice as much. But ever since we got these U-Haul trucks just running out of my house, it's great. Highly recommend it. Um, mower payments, so I pay $7.88 a month. Hey guys, that's for six. I bought six brand new mowers. I bought Snapper Pros, three zero turns, three walk behinds. Um, and then I also bundled in, I believe, three backpack blowers and three uh, steel trimmers. I, I do steel trimmers and blowers, but um, 788. It's so cheap to get the mowers, like 0% financing. You cannot beat that. Since I bought six, they discounted the mower so much. It's, it's nuts. Um, I really, if you're, if you're push mowing still, you need to go talk to a dealer. You can get 0% financing. It's literally going to cost you around a hundred bucks a month or so to get like a decent hydro walk behind and you can cut twice as much grass. It's going to pay for itself. Get it. Quit push mowing. Um, Okay, so rent expense, like I said, that's actually my house payment. And yeah, okay, so insurance between the business, general liability, blah, 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 all that auto auto policies. We're about 6000 a year. Like I said, these orange cells are populated, so I'm using 3.6% of grand total wages because that's what it averaged out from my 2016 number. So these orange cells were based off of my company's 2016 real numbers. 
So that's how I got this. I used 11% here, 1.3% here. If you want to change those, you just go in here and change it right there. This is where you change it. You know, here you would change it. You know, if you know how to use an Excel sheet, that's all it is. Phone, um, I'm paying Sprint way too much. I got three phones, uh, paying 19 20 a year. Um, this is my owner's distribution. So we're an S Corp. So on top of me actually being on payroll, I get my quarterly distributions and I'm paying myself $24,000 in distributions this year. Owner salary. Uh, since I'm the office guy, I'm already included in this. That's why it says right here, leave it as zero if you're already included elsewhere. So that's zero. Advertising costs. I, I don't need to advertise anymore. My business is, is established. Um, the community knows us. Our reviews are all five stars, A plus, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to advertise our phone rings. Um, our website has really good SEO. And, you know, we we don't need to advertise. I, I have in the past. I have a lot of uh, great marketing advice, but my company doesn't need to anymore. So the cost is zero. So payroll taxes calculated for me. Income taxes calculated for me. Tax prep fees. Uh, my CPA is around twenty five hundred. I do own several businesses, and that has my personal tax returns included in there and stuff like that. Uh, local taxes and fees, roughly twenty five hundred. We work in Kentucky in three counties and several cities, so it's you know that's what it adds up to roughly. During your accounting fees, um, I like to stay in touch with my CPA and make sure everything's going good, and so. I end up paying them about 600 bucks a year for just stopping in for a couple hours here and there. Software and technology, this is gonna be Service Autopilot. Uh, we use WooFu Forms to collect um, quote requests and do our pre-trip DOT inspections. So, and then I have a SA link with QuickBooks and my bank link with QuickBooks. So total in software and technology, I'm at 150 a month, 1800 a year. Payroll costs roughly twelve hundred a year. Internet roughly twelve hundred a year. Dropbox, I can't run my business without it. It's a hundred bucks a year. Um, I used to retain a lawyer. I usually have to buy uniforms. I didn't this year, and I had a business coach for five years running my business. I was paying my business coach two hundred fifty dollars a month. Um, I got with a pretty cheap one. He was just getting started. He's really good. Uh, but I, I don't have that expense anymore. I'm, you know, I'm not growing this business anymore. He doesn't have an, any expertise in the businesses I'm going into, so I don't, I don't have this cost anymore. So my, my total um, overhead expense is ninety-seven thousand. Then you get to your variable expenses, meals and entertainment, twelve hundred, charitable contributions. I'm just saying six hundred. I have donated much more in the past, but this year I'm really just trying to pocket some money and, and invest that money in my other businesses. Uh, repairs and maintenance, 12,000 bucks. I just had to replace the engine, that was 8,000 bucks. So that's why it's 12,000 uh, bucks. Gas, roughly for, for what we're doing, we're gonna end up spending about $12,000 in gas. Consumable items, this is gonna be trimmer string, uh, two cycle oil, re little replacement parts like that, or you know, it could go into either of these whatever 1200 bucks uh spray chemicals just based off my prior numbers it's going to cost me about fifteen thousand for the the fertilizer the ingredients for the compost tea pre-emergent uh grub control stuff like that um i originally had bonuses worked in on top of my percentage pay but i just said no that's going to take too much time to figure that out and keep track of all that i'm just going to pay pay you guys a higher percentage and contingency just means anything unexpected, so I just put 2,400 bucks in here. So our variable expenses, $42,000. Total expenses, $140,000. So back up the top from the mowing and spraying, we're bringing in 390,000. Total wages and expenses, so it's the wages plus the expenses, 339,000. So retained money is $50,000. So that means the the company, you know, if it is leave that money in the company, it's gonna be fifty one thousand dollars in the bank account. Assuming we started at zero, we didn't start at zero. I like to keep at least twenty thousand dollars in my bank account. 
I treat twenty thousand dollars in my bank account in my business bank account like zero. I do I do it with my personal account too. But you gotta you gotta do uh, put in work and and make good financial decisions to get put yourself in that position. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, you have forty thousand dollars in your bank account. Well, I have I have more than that. I have more bank accounts, and I have um you know, but you guys can do this. Um, down here, I just put a couple little percentages. So expenses compared to revenue, uh, thirty six percent. Wages compared to revenue, fifty one percent. Guys, it's a labor intensive industry. Services, any kind of service, your labor costs are going to be high. Um, so if you see here, you know we're operating at a, a thirteen percent profit margin. You know you can say whatever you want to say about that. I spend five hours a week running my business and. You know, if we go back up here, I'm the office guy, so I'm making forty-five thousand, we'll say, from my office wages, plus twenty-four thousand from my distribution. So that's seventy thousand right there, and then I don't have to pay my my mortgage out of my uh, my personal money. Um, this insurance, you know. But my phone is a business slash personal phone. I don't pay for that out of pocket. You get a lot of perks when you own a business, and it's perfectly legal if you do it right. You don't abuse it. Uh, talk to your CPA. Talk to a lawyer. Figure out what you can and can't do. And I mean, any anybody and everybody should open a small business to just to take advantage of the 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 tax incentives and breaks and everything else. As long as your business makes a little bit of money, it's a business and not a hobby, and you can write all those expenses off. So I hope you I hope you um, saw some value in this, and you know, be like, dang, I'd really like to put my numbers in here and, and see what see what it spits out. Just go to LawnCrack.com on the home page. I'll have a be very obvious. Get get the um, mow and spray profit calculator is what I call it. So go there, get it, and let me know what you think in the comments. It's Ryan, Long Crack. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It makes such a big difference to us. We really appreciate you watching. Uh, have a great day.